Wednesday, you went away Thursday, things weren't the same on Friday, it came back. That's me sometimes. You might find me out here walking around like wildin'. What's up? How you feeling today? Day three of the... Oh, what's this? You see it. Anyway. Ha! All right. Listen. Sometimes I just... I'm out of control on camera, okay? I'm sorry. Um, I'm not really, but I am, if you could understand what that means, whatever. All right, day three, health and healing books. I'm pulling them off my brain, right? I'm thinking about a no specific author. Well, you know where I want to go? I'm going to go deep with you today. This book that I'm going to recommend right here is called Raw Courage World by R.C. Denny. Okay? Um, it has a much longer title than that. It's like Raw Courage World, a.k.a. The End of Pollution. Excuse me. Like, it's deep. That is like top five of books that I've ever read in my life. What was so unique about it is that R.C. Denny, meaning Raw Courage Denny, his name is Fuad, was like three, over 300 pounds. And he slimmed down to about 150. And he did so by exclusively consuming raw plant foods. Right? He says that raw is nature's first law. He and his cousin, who I had mentioned yesterday, David Wolf, author of Eating for Beauty, um, they, they've done some works together. Um, but this particular writing was outstanding because it touched on us really getting back into nature for our nourishment, for our sustenance. Like, we have the sun and we have the moon, right? He's like, see, like now it's, it's getting dark out. You know, if you can see, it's still a little bit bright. That's a, uh, I don't know, a street light right there. But it's still a bit, still can see some, you know, light. Okay? But he says in one particular part that if it's nighttime and, it, and you're cold, you're, if you were out in the daytime to get enough sun, and the evening, you'll be that much warmer than someone who was inside all day and then it comes out in, in the cold. You understand? Because the sun would have heated you up to a certain degree. You know what I mean? So that allows for you to uh, be able to withstand the, uh, the chills of the evening. And he also spoke about say the reason that we have to layer ourselves so much is because of our unnatural eating habits. Saying that if we were more in tune to a natural diet, that we could basically go clothes less in any kind of weather. Like there's a picture I believe of his of, of someone that he's worked with who um, also was talking about things of that nature and it's like in the snow and like just some shorts and some boots and some skis like yeah because i'm healthy i can literally withstand all of this cold because i'm eating you know food that's conducive with nature so my body is now more in tune to nature so i won't have like the shivers and or be just or be cold and the reason why i can respect it Although, you know, I'm very far away from trying to ski in just some, some boxes and some, some, some boots, okay? But the reason why I can respect it is because I go back to the old, 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 old school books that were out, that we have, that we can go to for reference for, for different things. And one of those books is the Bible. You know, some of you utilize the Bible, some of you don't, some of you 
believe in it, some of you don't, it's all good. However, I look at it from various perspectives. Now, they mentioned in the Bible that Adam was like naked. They found, found himself naked and things of that nature. After he kind of, after he broke the code of the, the dietary laws, basically. Right? So that's like me with this cold that I have in my nose by drinking this milk. Because I know milk is not good for me. I'm not going to tell you it's not good for you. But like cow's milk is not good for me. Sorry about that. Not good for me. And I had some and haven't been the same since. I haven't been right. I'm getting back good. I'm feeling a lot better than I did a day or two ago. But I should never have touched that. You know? And that's how I feel like about when you go against the code of nature, like you're gonna then face the reality through physical ailments. So, am I making sense to you? The book is very deep. You really need to read that book. He gets into the fact that when you cook foods, first of all, the processes and everything like that, you have to build factories. You have to do so much things against nature to create these products that the people call food for us to consume but at the end of the day we're killing everything we're killing the planet we're killing we're wasting we're, we're, we're usurping we're just taking all of the water out of the world because we want to satisfy our, 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 our carnal desires that don't benefit us in the long run right and like as opposed to say like what he says in the book if we were to maintain a diet of fruits and vegetables, mainly fruits in his regard, that there's no, there, that pretty much would end pollution. See, like if this tree yielded any fruit, right, this tree behind me, if it yielded any fruit, the, the skin and the seeds are like the compost or go back into the land, right? The seeds can then in turn grow more fruit, right? That's multiplying the health throughout Right? And then the skin is just, you know, waste. It can just go back to the land and fertilize the earth. Right? Meanwhile, the flesh of the food is for sustenance for you. Really stimulus at the end of the day. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to feel good, satiated. You know, some people are like, ugh, get that belly. But you don't want to do that to yourself, especially if you're looking to maximize your time here on the planet. You don't want to have the Al Bundy. Or the Homer Simpson, you know? You want to, according to another one of my mentors, you want to eat when hungry until food full, one food at a time, all right? So that's when you're hungry, you want to eat one particular food until you're full, for the most part. Like, say, and fruits are food and vegetables are food. So, like, if I was, if this was a mango tree, I wouldn't go from this mango tree to another town to go eat a mango and an orange together. I'll eat just mangoes until I was full when I was hungry and that would be good enough. Alright, so that's a little inside tip to being healthy. Keeping it simple. Doesn't, doesn't just work in business, guys. It works in health too. So keep it super simple. Click the link below if you want to learn more about my blogs. 5plus7.com www.thenumber5plus7.com is where you can get this info alright I'm Ken Beckford your health enthusiast entrepreneur extraordinaire Brooklyn New York be healthy be wealthy click the link below peace <laughs>